What's that? Sorry, I just always like watching the uh, Billy Buckner play. Never gets uh, old, right? It's been on TV like a lot for some reason. Well, because it's 20 years. Oh, it is. Okay. It's 20 years. Oh, and that the Mets, would be a And the Mets played in uh, Boston there, so. That's 20 hmm. years. 20 years. I was in rehab. Mets yeah. are doing very well. I was in rehab that night. It was the the first glimmer of hope I had in six months. Wait, 20 years. That was June of of, of 86? Yeah. 86, was, yeah. yeah 20 years coming this fall. It's it's 20 years ago. So they did the World Series. Rehab? What were you, 10? I was, <laughs> I was 15. <laughs> I was in Jeez, rehab. I remember man. six months before him, I was in rehab. Same really? Thing. Yeah, yeah, oh, January yeah, of 86. You got, really? That was, yeah, that was crazy. It was my, my wrist. Rehab at 15? Your didn't... wrist opened? <laughs> what? Rehab at 15. Yeah. I was 17. What were you doing at 15? Eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? No, I was yeah. drinking, but, well, you, you know. know. Star Wars figures and it putting was... them on your bookshelf and making sure they don't fall over? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was drinking. I was smelling the cape because it smells like plastic. <laughs> but it was... Oh. But but I, I at 15, when you're drinking... You don't go to rehab. Yeah, Every do. 15 year old that drinks is out of control. There's no 15 year old going, uh, give me a Manhattan, make it neat, and uh, I just, just won. I got to get home to the wife. When you're 15, you're grabbing a bottle of Southern Whatever's Comfort, around, heading right. for the woods, and drinking the whole thing until you vomit. What, who, who goes, who at 15 is like, you, I think I have a problem. Of course you do. You're drinking at 15. Jesus Christ. You should have went to rehab. Well, stop yelling at me like my second father. I, <laughs> Jesus. Damn you. No wonder I went to rehab at 15. As you were shouting. Bob just instinctively started unbuckling his trousers. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to go in the closet. He's <laughs> <laughs> yelling at me. All right. so the, I, it doesn't, it doesn't matter at 15. Wait, so let's ask these guys the question. He went to rehab at 15. Jimmy went to rehab at 17. And I'm with Anthony. Like all my friends and stuff, we were just finding what was in Dad's liquor cabinet. And Every drinking. kid should have been in puked. rehab then. Right. So what? what is different than that that makes you go, I have to go to rehab? At 15. I've like woken up on floors. Of bathrooms yeah. from tequila mm -hmm. at at fifteen sixteen years old. Right. Uh, like I, I was staying, at, I didn't even have a place to live. I, I was like, I'd like sleeping on a couch at a friend's house and just pounding tequila all night. And I woke up in the morning on the bathroom floor. No clue how I got there. That's cute. That, but but that's just a fifteen year old drinking. Right. It's not rehab. I woke up. What what happened? I, I woke up, I mean, the same thing. I woke up one day with n no underwear on, on a cot in my friend's living room. I don't, I don't even know he had a cot. I, <laughs> cot? He, he, I actually... Private pile. He found my underwear. They hit you with soap in a sock. <laughs> they should have. He found my underwear like a month later behind his couch with a turd in it. <laughs> Apparently, I just I dropped a deuce in my tidy whities and I just hid it behind the couch. At least you have the sense to uh, do that in your stupor. Yeah, there you go. Because you could have just slept in it, which yeah. really would have been awful. Uh, that was really I, funny, <laughs> dude. I think I think the difference between. Uh, I mean, did you almost die? Have you been in the hospital? Did you get in, like uh, beat up like to almost death? I mean, did you go to jail? I went to juvie jail. I was no, in and out no, I, I didn't personally, but I will say that when you're drinking to excess yeah. at 15, which doesn't take much, right. you know, things are going to happen. You're going to end up in jail. You're going to end up in trouble. You're going to get all right. I got in fights, things like that. I wrecked a couple of cars. Oh wait, things like that. But but I mean, he got in a lot of trouble at fifteen, and yeah. he had no choice. So yeah, I was I was like, oh, they sentenced you to rehab. Juvie, juvie. All right, then well, you got a point. Yeah, if you're sentenced I to rehab. I forgot the story, but there was uh, what was it again? You were stealing stuff. Yeah, like unarmed robbery or something. Armed robbery, that's right. right. How unarmed, do you know unarmed. you've just blown unarmed. it though unarmed. at fifteen that you're done drinking? That's what I'm, like my point. Unless you've been, you know, sentenced to go to jail. But I mean, at 15, you can't identify that you've you've pretty much blown your drinking. That this is going to be you drinking at 25 or you drinking at 30. At 15, you can't. You're not. You're going to know. You're going to reach a point where I think you you get a reasonable uh, take on how much you can drink, when drinking is appropriate. Not at 15. It's every weekend with your friends till the point where you pass out. Like well, I did cute stuff like that too, like your floor. I remember one time I, I had a butcher knife and I <laughs> ran out of my house and I was walking down the street with it sticking out because I was hoping the police would shoot me. And then the, oh, the other that's, time, that's a cute story. The other time too. I called the police department in a Jamaican accent and told them to come get me, man, and put me in jail. <laughs> it's, I was in a partial blackout. And then there was, the, there was perhaps the 30th right. wrist slicing incident <laughs> where there was like uh, 18 micro stitches in my left arm. And I said my, I was forced into rehab and they were going to court order me if I didn't go. Okay. 
All right, there. Point they, taken. They explain themselves. They right. explain it. I completely <laughs> concur. There you go. I was babysitting one night, woke Uh-oh. up with my pants around my ankle. Apparently, I went to go take a poo, and I passed out, and the poor kids were crying because the babysitter was... Uh, you passed on, out on the On, uh, on, on the, the ground with my an- my pants around my ankle. Be careful how you explain it. With yeah. A, with a... a well, we got, we, do got, we, got, we got it. We got it. Yeah, right, that, that, that'll never... The I'll, actual substance will never make it through. Bob needed to use the restroom, and Bob yeah. needed to use the restroom, and, and his pants were down his ankles, and he passed out walking to the bathroom. No, that's not what happened. Oh no! You passed out. <laughs> no, he sounded like I'm a pedophile. <laughs> right. Sit, sitting on the uh, My on pants the bowl. Down before I went to the bathroom oh, and I'm babysitting. Uh, <laughs> you were sitting down on the bowl, creep, <laughs> and you passed out. I hope I hope yeah. they're dumping out in such a way right now that it makes it sound like that you really are a pedophile. I know. Like, like that's they what dumped it'll out the part like. that that yeah. had, I was the only that show had. that wants a pedophile on the show. <laughs> well, you're talking. I was babysitting. Babysitting. <laughs> And pants, pants down, down, kids. Instead of instead of all the stuff they dumped out that made it perfectly make sense. <laughs> yeah, I, I was babysitting kids. Pants down, ankles. <laughs> Next thing you know, found me. Ambulance. Ambulance, police. Whole room smells like pennies. <laughs> <laughs> Rehab or jail. <laughs> all right, we gotta take a break.